Have you ever wondered how batteries work? How they generate electricity or just what's inside them? Well, today we're going to find out. We're here at the chemistry building at UNC Chapel Hill, where there should be plenty of people who can tell us just how batteries work. Could you explain to us how batteries work? Batteries. The general idea of a battery is that it's going to store the electrical energy. Salt bridge. Electrolytes. Electrochemistry. You need some kind of electrolytes, and they can transport ions. Charges migrating from anode to cathode. And then you get charge transfer. Whoa! That was a lot of great information, but let's try to make sense of it. And to do that, we've got to go down to the atomic level. Atoms are made up of even smaller particles called electrons. These electrons are negatively charged. And if we look at the periodic table, we see that there are lots of different atoms, and each element is unique. Some elements want to give away their electrons. So are we talking here like a rich person giving a poor person food? Uh, I'm thinking more about it like giving free kittens away. While some elements want even more electrons. Play set, my have some more. <laughs> In certain chemical reactions, electrons flow from one atom to another, from negative to positive. If you put this reaction inside a conducting material, like a metal wire, the flow of electrons creates electricity. Hmm, maybe we should stick with me doing the writing. Oh, come on. Well, there are lots of different types of batteries, and each type contains different chemicals just waiting to react. But in principle, the chemical reaction in all of these batteries is the same. So, because we feel like it, we are going to explain how cell phone batteries work. I mean, everyone is always on their phone, right? Yeah, so you're basically doing chemistry all day long and you don't even know it. Most cell phone batteries are lithium-ion batteries. But all batteries have four basic parts. An anode, a cathode, electrolyte, and a separator. By themselves, these four parts don't do anything. They're just sitting there. It's not until you connect the two ends of the battery, making a circuit, that any chemistry starts happening. Let's look at the specific reactions occurring at each electrode. At one end, we have the anode, which is the negative end. It's made of lithium metal mixed with carbon powder, which is called graphite. This is what you find in a pencil. Now, the carbon doesn't actually participate in the chemical reaction. It just helps with the movement of electrons. So here's the chemical reaction that's happening at the anode. Lithium metal loses one electron to form lithium ion. And when you lose electrons in a reaction, it's called an oxidation reaction. And at the cathode, or the positive end, we have cobalt oxide that gains an electron and lithium ion to form lithium cobalt oxide. This is a reduction reaction. Remember, oxidation is loss and reduction is gain. And together, that makes oil rig. Remember, at the anode, lithium loses an electron in an oxidation reaction. But as soon as we connect the electrodes, we give the electrons an escape route, and they leave behind the lithium ion, which can now pass through the separator. The separator can be any type of plastic or gel or liquid, as long as it has an electrolyte adsorbed onto it. Now, this separator is crucial because it keeps the two metal electrodes from directly touching each other. Because if it did, the flow of electrons would happen way too fast, and you can end up with something like this. Boom goes the dynamite. Now we've shown a simplified version of what the insides of a battery looks like. But here's what it actually looks like. And don't worry, everything we've said still holds. It's just that the compounds that make up the cathode, anode, and separator have been pressed into thin sheets for practicality. So how about when you recharge your phone? While connecting your phone to an external energy source applies a voltage to your battery, and essentially you're reversing the chemical reaction, putting the electrons back where they were originally. And that is how batteries work. If you liked our video, why don't you vote for us? Just press like.